yes so welcome back to my session uh this is going to be very first session on sequential circuit right so what i thought was uh i should start from sequential circuit okay because many of you might be comfortable in uh, uh combination circuits right so uh in this session i am going to share my uh concept on sequential circuit uh according to the gate point of view right so i'm just going to restrict myself for the gate preparation right though i will be conducting some sessions where i will be discussing uh uh you know the very deep concept behind all the topic but at this moment i'm just going to give you the glance you know the overall view of a sequence circuit in one go right so uh i'm just going to start with the sequence circuit okay so i hope everyone might be familiar with the difference between combination circuit and the sequence circuit right so uh i'll start with the sequence circuit right sequence circuit so what how my sessions are going to be helpful for you guys you can take any question okay from gate pyq or any sort of new question also you would be able to do those questions okay the moment uh, you 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 have watched my sessions right so please do attend these sessions you know and if you miss out live sessions you can watch uh, recording as well right so make sure that these sessions are very very important okay and they will help you quickly get uh, complete marks from entire subject okay and as we know that this subject is highly important uh, and this is the only subject where you need logic okay without logic nothing is possible right so actually you know what uh, if i talk about the basic difference between uh, the combination circuit and the sequence circuit is in case of combination circuit the output is basically dependent depends upon only the current state of the you know current of current state right whatever current input you are going to give right to the circuit okay the output is going to be dependent on only the current input of the circuit but in case of sequence circuit you know uh, the output on output will be depending upon the uh, current input as well as the uh, you know next state you can say right whatever next state you are going to get right so here state will be one of the important word in sequence circuit remember state okay state and state is nothing but what something has been stored previously right you can say state is related with the past values right past okay so in sequence circuit you need some sort of extra memory element you know one memory element will be there that memory element is going to help you to store the past value you know and then you can go ahead and talk about uh, the outputs okay depending upon whatever input you are giving right so here state is going to be very important word i i'll talk about in detail but at this moment i'm not going to uh, dive into much detail right so sequence circuit which you will be looking at uh, in entire uh, sequence circuit chapters is going to be two kind of sequence circuit you will be seeing first one is going to be milli sequence circuit you know milli okay. milli there is a milli sequence circuit right you can say milli milli sequence circuit and uh, second one is going to be more Okay, Moore sequence circuit, right? We call it Moore sequence circuit. Okay. So the difference I hope everybody might have understood. Okay. So some of the logic that we want to build, okay, in future is going to dependent on the input as well as the past state, whatever past state is there, right? Whatever the history that has got stored in the uh, you know memory, right? So we have to build a circuit, right? We have to build a digital circuit where we can also store some of the information some of the you know uh, some memory should be there right okay so as we know that we can use the memory to store anything right we have got dram we have got sram and all right dram is there dynamic uh, uh, you know dram is there dynamic random access memory but what we are going to do here is we will be using the combination logics only we will be using some logic gates and we will try to build a memory okay and you see how i'm going to build a memory right so there are two kind of sequence circuit first is what milli sequence circuit okay in fact and the second one is going to be more sequence circuit remember and what is the difference between these two circuits that we have to understand so milli and more what is the difference between the two right please remember this okay so in case of milli milli sequence circuit okay 
in case of millisequence circuit okay your output is going to be the function of output okay whatever output is going to be the function of input okay remember this this is very important okay input and the previous state input and the previous state okay the previous state the previous state right and your next state is going to be the function of next state right next state is going to be the function of input as well as the previous state input as well as the previous state i'm just going to write ps right this is called mealy sequence circuit this is called mealy sequence circuit you have to always note down the differences between them right okay though in the while solving the question you don't have to worry about anything but at least you should have knowledge about what is what kind of uh, sequence circuits are there right uh mealy and mure and what is the difference between the two right because in future you are going to talk about uh, uh you know uh finite state machine so there will be two kind of finite state machine one will be mealy finite state machine one will be more okay so depending upon the classification that i'm talking about right now right so remember output is a function of input and the previous state okay and next state is going to be like how can you get the next state next state can be obtained from the input as well as the previous state okay and what is the different what is more what is more sequence circuit what is the more sequence circuit the more sequence circuit is nothing but the output is going to be the function of only previous state okay okay remember in case of more you know output of the uh, more sequence circuit is only dependent on what it is going to be dependent on remember this is very important topic output of the okay output on output is going to a function of only okay output is going to be a function of only you know only uh previous state right only previous state please remember these points okay. please remember these points next uh okay and your next state is going to be the function of next state is going to be the function of here input and the previous state okay so in case of uh, if you try to look at the difference there is a minute difference you can see right mealy and mure in case of mealy okay your output is going to be the function of both input as well as the previous state right whatever state has been stored right whatever information is there right previously available okay already available okay uh and next state state is also going to the function of input as well as previous state but in case of more sequence circuit that you have to remember is what uh the output is going to be only function of previous state but in next state is should be will be the function of input as well as the previous state so these are the difference between uh you know these are the difference between what uh mealy and more so what is my conclusion is going to be output output does not depend on input right in case of more right okay, please remember this so let me choose some different colors and highlight this so output does not output does not depend on input okay in case of more right okay please remember these are the basic difference between mealy and mure so in fact in the interview also they might ask you what is the difference between mealy and mure so you can talk about that right okay you can always talk about this right so uh you know what is going to be happening here is now since if you if i talk about combination circuit in case of combination circuit you know there will be a combination logic here there is a combination logic right okay this is a combination logic and whatever input you are connecting here right whatever input you are connecting there are many inputs you can say just i am showing one arrow here but this uh, there are many inputs you can say right so whatever input you are connecting right your output is going to dependent on your output is going to dependent on the current input whatever input you have applied right to the combination logic right but what is going to be the sequential logic right you know sequential circuit will be having the memory as well so there will be a memory right you see the, you know the functionality of the circuit is dependent on the previous state as well so there will be one extra block that is memory 
okay this is a memory logic what will happen here is that you know uh, see whenever you will apply some input to the combination logics it will give you output as well as it will give you some next state you can say right so next state is going to be uh, applied here to the memory and this memory is going to uh, you know produce again one more state right so there will be one previous state right you can say previous state that we will, we will be getting from the memory whatever you know whatever state has got is stored in the memory and that previous state is going to produce next state here right the okay, next state okay understood so i hope this makes sense uh, you know so what is the input to the logic uh, combination logic here they, there are two inputs you can say one is input and one is the you can say here one is going to be the previous state right so if output is function of input as well as the previous state that is called mealy sequential circuit that is called mealy sequential circuit okay i hope this makes sense to all and uh, this is very important to keep in mind right and and if output is not the function of input here if output does not depend upon input so that is called mure one but next state will always be a function of input as well as the uh, previous state so we are going to apply the input to the combinational logic only guys whatever combinational logic you know right logic gates you know mugs okay so there is a different sort of uh, combinational logic we have seen right so this is very important to keep in mind okay so this is basically a mealy uh you know this circuit is basically a mealy one it, this is a mealy mealy uh, sequences circuit but if i talk about mure one right so you, you know what we can do here is uh, you know, suppose this is the combination logic combination logic okay and there is a memory okay now going forward guys keep in mind whenever we will talk about sequences circuits there will be combination circuits as well as the memory right remember okay but in case of combination circuit there is no uh, memory element right we don't have to store anything because whatever output we are going to get that is going to dependent on the current state of the uh, combination logic current input okay okay so this is very important so you see here uh, there is an input right we are applying input to the log uh, combination logic so we are going to uh, get the next state here right remember so we are going to get the next state right so next state okay and this next state is going to produce what i mean you will be getting some previous state here okay already there will be some previous state right so input and the previous state will produce the next state you can say right okay the input and the previous state is going to produce the next state it is not producing what it is not producing the in output here remember okay it means what it means it is a Moore circuit, right? So Moore sequence circuit, and from the from the memory, right? From the memory, there will be one output logic. There will be one output logic. This we call it output logic, which is going to give you the output. Okay. So here the output you will get certainly you will get some output. Okay. In case of Moore sequence circuit as well, but it will be only dependent on what? It is going to be dependent on the previous state okay that that's it right it is going to be dependent on previous because this is going to be giving you the previous state here previous state so you can say this is a function of only previous state right but this is a function of input as well as the previous state right so i hope now you understood the difference right between a melee and the mure right so from the memory directly i'm gonna take the output okay from the memory only i'm not going to be uh dependent on the input whatever we have applied to the combination circuit right that will give you the output of the sequence circuit okay always keep in mind in fact uh, the basic sequence circuit whatever basic fundamental sequence circuit we will talk about you know we'll we really start with the latch concept okay then we will talk about flip-flop okay and then we'll talk about uh we'll put uh, flip-flop uh, you know in the sequence so we'll discuss register okay the, that is called bank of the flip-flop so many registers will be there okay so you have to always understand that one of the input will be there that is that we are going to apply but one input will be the previous state right okay previous state okay that previous state input is very important okay 
So what are the millisequences circuit advantage and disadvantage, right? So please remember these things. Yeah. I think this is very important. Uh, the difference uh, is clear and uh, with the help of logic diagram that you can show here, right? Okay. And advantage and disadvantage that you can already talk about here. Since you can see here in millet circuit, in milli circuit, what are the advantages? It requires less number of states for any design, right? It requires less number of states for any sort of design. You see here, this requires less number of states, okay? Uh, for any design than Moore sequence circuit, okay? Understood. So, what is the meaning of that? It requires less number of the flip flop events, right? Okay, in future we will talk about what is flip flop, okay, flip flop, right? So it requires less number of the flip flop, but uh, the disadvantage is going to be what? Output is going to produce glitches, right? In this case, right? So only one disadvantage is there. That disadvantage we can write here. The disadvantage okay, is output produces okay glitches. Okay, output is going to produce glitches, right? Glitches is nothing but a short duration pulse like this, you know. Okay, in less in t t go to zero time, you know, there will be this kind of a, a spike, you know. So this is uh, the dis disadvantage, right? Other advantage is what the milli sequential socket requires less number of the flip flop frequency, right? Okay. Less number of flip flop. And in case of Mure's, okay, in case of Mure, in this case. The advantage is what? What is the advantage here? Okay. Always keep in mind there might be some advantage. That's why we are discussing Mure, right? Mure sequence circuit. So no glitches. No glitches. Okay, no glitches will be there. Okay. And that is one of the big come uh, you know, you can say relaxation, right? So when you are going to use the Mure sequence circuit, right? See, any circuit will be having pros and cons, right? So you have to always trade off, right? You have to always trade off, yeah. What you want, accordingly, you have to decide which kind of sequence circuit you're going to use, right? So this is very important to keep in mind. So in case of a Moore sequence circuit, there will not be any glitches, okay? Because the output transition one synchronized with the clock pulse, right? Okay, no glitches. And disadvantage is what? It requires more number of flip flops, okay? And more number of, you can say, states, right? See, if there are more number of states, means more number of flip flops you need, right? So that is very important because number of states are going to be proportional to the number of flip flops, right? If there are more number of states, means more number of flip flops. Here, more number of states is going to be. Right? So, disadvantage, you can say, is more number of states. So what is the meaning of that? More number of flip flop. Okay, more number of flip flop. So these are the advantages and disadvantages that you have to keep in mind, right? Now, now the situation is what? Now, as I told you that, in case of sequential circuit, apart from combination circuit that already we have seen, right? In combination circuits, right? We need some memory element, right? to store information, to store, you can say, uh, bits, right? After all, information is going to be in the form of bit, right? So, you know, so we have to store any, uh, the bit in the, you can say, in memory, right? So, we have got various memory elements, right? Like, we can use DRAM, but in case of DRAM, there are many, uh, you know, like, there will be one transistor and there will be one capacitor, right? Okay, you can say. And that will require a continuous periodic, uh, you can say, uh, you know, refreshing and all, right? Because you know that in electrical circuit, we know, right? Ki, uh, if we charge the capacitor, right? Okay, through the, you can say, through MOSFET or something. So that is going to store something. Okay, if you discharge it, so it will be storing zero, right? So that, you know, but instead of using that, there are many disadvantages, there are many can say cons are there right so we are going to use one idea called what we will do here is we will use uh, the logic gates in the positive feedback events right okay so that will give you the concept of latch yeah so first is very important the when we start sequential logic circuit we always talk about latch of the latch okay so 
how do we realize latch okay so one bit memory element that is called latch one bit memory element okay one bit memory element so we will be using the logic gates only simple logic gates and we are going to connect those logic gates in the positive feedback okay so that idea you have to understand i will explain you that idea why why that idea is very important why not the dram or something we can use okay so we will discuss that also so suppose we have got one inverter here you can see this is the one inverter right it is a combination logic and we are going to connect the out output of first inverter to the output in input of the second right and we are going to put them in the feedback we're going to put them in the feedback so this is first idea that gives you a kind of start a key start to build a latch right okay but which latch is going to be good latch okay that also you have to decide but in this session i will be only talk about how to build a latch right see how to build a latch so if you're going to see here guys if you apply here anything right so suppose you're giving zero so it, it becomes one and if it is one so it becomes zero right okay please remember and suppose this is one so it becomes zero and this is going to be one right so one of the bit is going to be stored so this is nothing but a bi-stable uh you know so you see in this case if you're going to build you know a memory element using a logic gates okay in the positive feedback okay in the positive feedback so noise is not going to disturb right remember no, noise is, because there is a bi-stable one right this is a bi-stable socket kind of thing right bi-stable okay please remember and noise will not affect noise is not going to affect but in case of dram if you're going to use dram as a memory element we store some bits and all so that will be prone to noises right so noise is going to disturb uh, everything right okay so this is one of the biggest advantage if you are going to employ this idea okay to build a latch okay you just take two inverters connect back to back and put them in the positive feedback so this is going to give you one of the logic okay please remember this guys okay i will explain more in detail right i will bring some applications i will show you some applications right but at this moment let us uh, walk through briefly right okay uh, to get some idea about that see if i'm going to introduce in the beginning only some advanced concepts you will say sir this is not my cup of tea right so i should start from the very basic the way you know you are exposed to right okay okay so remember the main reason is this noise is not going to affect going to affect this right so there is a bi stable circuit okay so one of the uh you know there will be two stable okay if input is one so our first inverter will give you zero output then second inverter is gonna be first right so you know one has got you know you can say one bit has got stored right okay so please remember this yeah okay? please remember this okay so what i'm going to put here is what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take one of the you can say one of the inverter is this and one of the inverter is this right you see and what i'm going to connect here is i'm going to connect you see here the same thing i'm going to connect like this okay, okay. you see so this is this is basically a first okay inverter second inverter right you know after logic gates are what logic gates are abstractions right you know in how we build the logic gates how we get the logic gate after all we are going to use some transistors right inside the logic gate if you go inside the logic gate right so you are going to see the many transistors are there right okay so it is an idea right it is an idea we started with this okay this idea okay because noise was one of the common mode they will right you know noise always bothers us so we got an idea that let us take two inverters connect in the positive feedback okay and we are going to store uh, one bit at a time right so either we can store one or zero right okay. fine so this is what we have done okay so what i'm going to connect here is i i have put this in this format okay one first inverter is here second inverter is here right so this is going to be 
the output is this is going to be the output and this we call it guys the static ram this is the static ram actually static ram so i'm not going to use the dram i'm just going to use the static ram here right i hope this max makes sense right okay understood in fact i will show you i will show you uh d latch okay i will show you different types of latches okay but d latch is going to be what we will try to design d latch using multiplexer that is one of the very important d latch okay in most of the examination in fact last year also in computer science one of the question was there right they have just given the mux okay and they said that does it we have like a d latch or not right so many students who do not know how to realize d latch okay how to realize latch using multiplexer right they cannot understand that right because sabko pata hai latch kaise design karte hain people know only sr latch okay people know jk flip flop right all those things right but d latch ko hum log combination circuit se kya kar sakte hain matlab latch ko combination circuit se hum uh, realize kar sakte hain here we are going to use some gates okay but you know but uh, we can also use mux right mux to realize uh, you know uh, latch okay so please remember guys this is static ram so the very first latch okay i'm just going to talk about is sr latch 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 okay. sr latch sr latch s stands for set r stands for reset okay please remember so you have to remember the circuit okay so i'm just going to design a la sr latch using uh you know universal gates right i think everybody knows what is universal gates so i'm just going to use nor gate right nor gate okay two nor gates i'm going to use one of the nor gate is this and one of the nor gate is this these are the two nor gate i'm just using one and two okay so the first nor gate has got input r so you, you have to always keep in mind this is a combination circuit okay this is a combination circuit so one of the input you are going to apply okay and second input is should be the state okay you can say some previous state okay so from where you're going to get the previous state the previous state you're going to get from here one of the input is going to be connected like this okay i'm just going to put them in a cross uh, coupled logic right so one of the input is r in case of sr please remember in case of sr one of the input is r and one of the input is going to be the previous state you can say okay which has been produced by this uh, nor gate okay and this is going to be set s right okay so if there is a r so it should correspond to q output okay so always remember there will be one output that is q and one of the output that is q complement right q complement okay understood so this is very important so r if you are writing r here so you should write q here if you are writing s here q bar okay and one of the input input of this uh, second nor gate is going to be what uh the out uh, you know whatever bit has got stored here at q okay that is very important to remember right so the way we have started the definition the same way we have to implement here as well so implementation should not be confusing right ye ek sr flip flop hai sorry sr latch and not flip flop okay why we are not calling it flip flop i will talk about that okay so if you are going to introduce clock okay some contoured signal right clock if you are going to introduce clock with the latch right that will become what that will become the flip flop right now this is not the flip flop okay we are not going to apply some controlled logic here control input right which is going to control uh, the functionality of the circuit okay please remember okay i hope this makes sense to all so this is nothing but a sr latch using nor gates using nor gates okay. using nor gates please remember this okay. this is very important to remember okay so what are these uh, s and r s and r are basically the driving input s and r these are the driving inputs right driving input see see the working of this latch is very simple okay very simple if you have the knowledge about nor gate right if you know the truth table of nor gate you can quickly understand the 
these functionality of this sr latch using nor gate right in fact we will also see the sr latch using nand gate as well right so this is very simple one right i think this is clear okay fine what we can do here is we can recall we can recall the uh truth table of nor gate what is truth table of nor gate so if you know truth table of nor gate then your life is simple you can say suppose a this is b right what is going to be the output here you can say by by is nothing but a plus b whole bar this is nor gate okay you can say the complement of or gate is going to be nor gate you know if you are going to give zero zero so it will give you one right if c so in general you can decide if any one of the input is one so output is always zero that is very important in case of nor gate if any one of the input is one right okay if any one of the input is one right suppose r is equal to one so output is going to be zero that is certain irrespective of another input right suppose a is one so output output will be always zero that 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 is important in case of nor gate right so suppose this is zero this is one output will be zero this is one this is zero so output is going to be zero okay please remember these things and if it is one if it is one right suppose one and one is this right so i'm talking about uh you know you can understand this right so it is going to be one it is zero this is zero and this is zero right okay so nor is this right this is the truth table of nor so how does this uh truth table is going to help us right so you have to make sure that if any one of the input is one right irrespective of other input okay the output is going to be zero okay so what we can do here is we can write here as r okay? and here i'm going to note down the q here i'm going to note down the q right okay understood so this is going to be the function table right this is going to be the function table function table we will not call this is the truth table this is not the truth table guys this is the functional table you can say okay this is going to be the functional table right what how your latch is going to function i'm just going to write them in terms of s r and q right okay s r and q now let us take the input combination you can say 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right okay so we should not start from 0 0 remember because 0 0 is there so you cannot understand uh, what is going to be the output of sr latch right so better what you can do is start with the this you can start with s equal to 0 and r equal to 1 right? you can say that s equal to 0 you put here and r equal to 1 right if any one of the input is remember in case of nor gate this is the property of nor gate from the truth table we know right if any one of the input is one so output is gonna be zero right so simply you can say this is going to be zero right so if it is zero so you put here zero and zero zero is going to be what zero zero is going to be one i hope this makes sense now you see one and one is going to be zero okay so this is important now what you can do you can apply this you can this is zero and this is zero right okay so if this is zero right already these things are stored now right you can't change it okay q equal to zero and you know if you're going to apply uh, this okay like zero and one so it is going to what it is going to make it q q will be what q is going to reset okay so q is going to be zero understood so this is very important to keep in mind the q is going to be zero right okay so as c set is zero and r is one right so reset is there so any whatever input you have given to the you know latch it is going to reset it reset means may will make it zero right and suppose you are going to apply this you can say zero zero right let us apply zero zero if it is zero and it is zero right so you can say that uh, we are going to take one and uh, this is one right so zero and one is going to be zero right and this is zero 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 is one so you see here you see whatever bit has got is stored in this latch whatever bit has got is stored in this latch okay whatever bit uh, has got is stored in this latch it is going to be same 
ओके एज प्रीवियस स्टेट ओनली राइट ठीक है सिंस यू आर अप्लाइंग जीरो जीरो तो वट एवर जीरो वट जीरो जीरो इज गोइंग टू वी हैव लाइक अ मेमोरी यू कैन से ओके सो योर आउटपुट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज नो चेंज विल बी देयर और यू कैन से दैट दिस जीरो जीरो इज गोइंग टू बट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई द इनपुट टू नॉर लैच तो दिस जीरो जीरो इज गोइंग टू वी हैव लाइक अ मेमोरी ओके लाइक यू नो इफ यू गिव जीरो जीरो सो योर वट एवर इज स्टोर्ड प्रीवियसली दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द सेम राइट so your next state is going to be the previous state itself right okay that is called memory okay if next state is equal to the previous state means there is some memory right now you can change again the input you see this is the uh, you know set is there set you are going to apply s equal to 1 right you can see that this is 1 and this is 0 right? so any on one of the input is 1 if it is 1 so this should be 0 see now whatever you have stored here it is going to change so it is 0 now it is 0 0 0 is 1 right okay now if you are going to apply you know set is equal to 1 and reset is 0 so your queue will be 1 your queue will be updated you know you see understood this is important to remember the functional table right so you remember the uh, latch symbol okay using nor gate but nowadays you know they are giving question based on you know marks they will give you and they will ask you can we implement latch using marks right okay so you can you can implement d latch using marks okay i will show you that is important criteria right okay so you should also know that which latch is good latch which latch is bad latch okay but i i'm sure you might not be familiar with these things right aapko bas क्वेश्चन आएगा आप सॉल्व कर पाते हो बस हो गया इतना सोचना ही नहीं है लेकिन डिजिटल सर्किट इज वन ऑफ द लॉजिकल सर्किट डिजिटल लॉजिक इज वन ऑफ द लॉजिकल फुल ऑफ लॉजिक यू कैन से एंड यू कैन टॉक अबाउट मेनी थिंग्स ठीक है ओके देर आर सम टूल्स आल्सो दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर लाइक कॉर्न ऑफ मैप इज देयर राइट वेन यू ट्राई टू मिनिमाइज दी रूल एंड एल्जेब्रा यूजिंग सम रिडक्शन टेक्निक्स ओके सो यू कैन गो फॉर cord of map that will help you quickly minimize the sum of product or canonical uh, sum of product or whatever like you know uh, product of sum okay so i hope this makes sense but uh, so these three is okay right but if you're going to apply one one suppose input is both one one right suppose this is one and this is also one right okay so if this is zero sorry both one means both output should be zero that is what the nor gate property right but in case of latch you know one of the output is q one of the output is complement of that q right so please remember this one one is invalid state you can say right? one one is going to be uh, you know you can say that one one is going to be what invalid state right one 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 is going to be invalid input right if you're going to give zero one one So your output should be zero zero, but it is not possible in latch. Okay, remember, okay? Because since we know from the truth table that any one of the input is one in case of NOR gate. Okay, the output should be zero. Okay. Now you might be thinking, how sir you know these things? See, suppose you forgot. Okay, so at least you know the NOR gate truth table. You can quickly write it and analyze it at the same time. Okay, you don't have to uh, build a memory, right? Okay, already you have a natural memory, right? but you don't have to store these things okay up immediately you think and you design it okay so this is very important right so you see if q equal to 1 uh, s equal to 1 r equal to 1 so q should be equal to 0 and q bar equal to 0 which is undesirable right undesirable it is not desirable you can say so these inputs are invalid So in case of SR, in case of SR, don't apply one one, right? Always apply zero one or one zero, and zero zero is going to be have like a memory. Okay. Yeah. So there are two cases. The case one is what that we have seen. The case one is if S, you know, if Q equal to zero, right? If Q equal to zero, right? So Q bar is going to be one. Okay, that is very important, right? If Q equal to zero, Q bar is going to be one. Right? Understood. And case two is what? If Q equal to one, so Q bar is going to be zero. Right? 
okay i hope this makes sense to you so how you're going, going to get q equal to 1 okay, that is very important so q equal to 0 you will get when your s equal to what s equal to 0 and r equal to uh, okay r equal to 1 and q equal to 1 you're going to get right when s equal to 1 and r equal to 0 right it is going to set the output right it is going to set the output okay. So these are the things that you have to remember. Okay. So since I have told you, right? So remember always uh, what is the important uh, note that you have to remember? NOR gate is NOR gate is you know very sensitive to logic one, very sens sensitive to logic one, right? Sensitive to logic one right so if you're going to apply one to the nor gate it is going to react immediately right it will give you zero output right okay okay i hope this makes sense so one bit why we call it one bit memory element because if you're going to apply one zero right one zero to the input of uh, sr labs and then you check it right by applying zero zero so that is going to store one right one bit you know okay so it will be remain it will be one only right output is going to be one right okay that that's why we call it uh, one bit memory element right so this is the way we can design one bit memory element okay the similar procedure you have to apply if any questions are asked right so you can draw the functional table and if you got the functional table you can also go for uh, you know, uh, expressions right you okay. some equations you can so if i see right now i'm not talking about any sort of clock right we are applying input okay randomly and we are getting output right we we don't have anything which is going to control okay everything all the operation is under control right so since we will uh bring uh, you know uh, the uh, clock in picture right along with the latches okay so that will become the flip-flop right mm -hmm. So now we will try to design one bit memory element using NAND gate. Yeah. One bit memory element using NAND gate. Right. So if you will understand this, okay, my sessions, so you will be able to uh, solve any question from digital circuits. And you will score 10 out of 10 because 10 mark uh, you can expect from digital logic then these are free marks you can say right okay these are free marks because it will not take much time to answer the question and uh, okay so how what are the changes that we are going to make in case of nor gate right since nor gate was what if you are applying r here so q r should correspond to q and s should correspond to q bar right now in case of we are going to design this NAND gate using NAND gate one bit memory element. So what we are going to use, we will be using NAND gate here. NAND gate. Please remember this. Okay. So after all, we are designing SR latch only. SR latch, okay, the very first latch, which is the one bit memory element latch. We are going to design using NAND gate. Okay. Initially, we have designed using. Uh, so in future, we will also design D latch using, you know, marks or something. Okay. Okay. So you have to always keep in mind that if you are talking about NAND gate, so NAND gate is always sensitive to zero, right? NAND gate is sensitive to zero. Okay. That that is very important. So one of the input will be. Let us see what is going to be the input. You have to always put like this. Right. One of the input will be uh, we, what we are going to give, okay. And one of the input will be the previous. Now to get the next state, right? Okay. So we can't directly apply now. We can't directly apply S. Okay? We have to take one more uh, logic here. That is inverter. Okay. We are going to put inverter. Right? Okay? Then we will put S and we will put R here. Okay. so this is going to be your 
एस आर लैच यूजिंग नैन गेट प्लीज रिमेंबर डोंट फॉरगेट दैट ओके नाउ दिस टाइम एस इज करस्पॉन्डिंग टू क्यू हियर एंड आर इज करस्पॉन्डिंग टू क्यू बार ठीक है ठीक है सिंस वॉट वी हैव डन हियर इज वी आर यूजिंग दीज टू इन्वर्टर्स ओके बिफोर दी बिफोर एस एन आर इज अप्लाइड राइट तो यू डोंट अप्लाई एस एन आर डायरेक्टली राइट टेक वन इन्वर्टर देन अप्लाई ठीक है तो हियर डायरेक्टली यू कैन से दैट एस बार एन आर बार सो दिस दिस डायरेक्टली इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस सो यू कैन से दैट यूजिंग नैन गेट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी एस बार आर बार लैच एस बार आर बार लैच यूजिंग नैन गेट इफ यू गोइंग टू डिजाइन ठीक है तो सिंस वी नो दैट एवरीथिंग सो सो यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड दैट नैन गेट इज वेरी सेंसिटिव टू ओके नैन गेट इज वेरी सेंसिटिव टू वट नैन गेट इज वेरी सेंसिटिव टू लॉजिक जीरो If I say zero or one, we we have to understand that is logic zero or logic one, right? Logic zero or logic one. Okay. So NAND gate is very sensitive to logic zero. So since you see here, uh, if you are going to apply, suppose we take S and R, right? If you apply S equal to one and R equal to one, what is the meaning of that? If you are going to apply S equal to one and R equal to zero, right? So it means you are going to apply here zero and you are going to apply one. So if it is zero, so you can say this is going to be what? It will immediately respond, right? It is going to respond. It will be one, right? Okay. It is going to be one since no, NAND gate is going to produce immediate one. If you are going to apply zero to the NAND gate, right? Okay. Understood. Then one and one, right? One and one is going to produce what? Zero. Now one and zero got got uh, you know you can say here okay. I hope this makes sense to you, right? So it is going to follow everything, right? The way our SR latch works, it is going to follow the same. You see here when set is one, S equal to one, so Q is one. Okay. Now you can apply zero here, zero zero. So it is going to be one and one. So zero and one, sorry. Uh, you know this is one right and there is a one okay so one and one is going to be zero and uh, this is zero here so zero and you know since we are making it what zero zero right sorry this will be one only right so one and zero means one only right so it is going to be stored right okay so zero zero again is going to work like a so i need not to draw the uh i need not to draw the what The functional table, the same functional table you can use, right? Okay. Understood. So you can also say that this is nothing but simple NAND gate, right? Here S bar, here R bar. Okay. This is Q, Q bar. i hope this makes sense to all yeah so please remember these points these points are very important okay and you can talk about that so i'm just going to take one question okay now you can solve any question right so latch is this this is a latch okay and there are more concept involved in latch how we have designed latch i have explained you right what you have to do here is you have to put two combinational logics in the positive feedback okay that is very important to keep in mind understood so as i said that uh, what are the point that you have to remember you know while solving latch problem is uh, suppose nand latch or non nor latch whatever standard latch you have discussed in the class suppose same latch is going to be asked right so you have to always keep in mind that uh, these gates are sensitive to what right nor or you can say if there is a or right in the okay or is present right if there is a nand or you can say and 
so these are sensitive to what sensitive to what and that you have to keep in mind they are sensitive to you know like nor if i talk about nor right so it is going to be sensitive to one it is going to be sensitive to zero right please remember these points if you have if you know these things okay then life is very simple So what we can do here is uh, we can take one question and we can solve this. So one of the great problem was there. Right? In the following x r x y latch in the following x y latch. Okay, in the following x y latch, they have given the initials initial. Okay, initials. Uh, you know x equal to y equal to 1 they have given right find the output p and q what you have to find find the output p and q okay. if your input by is given as by input is 0 1 0 1 right so they are going to be y is going to be sequentially changing 0 1 0 1 like this 0 1 0 1 0 1 and so on okay so circuit is also given so let me draw the circuit here so this is the circuit they have given okay so these are the nand gates basically these are the nand gates okay so they have said that this is nothing but p this is nothing but q right? okay and this is the input here you can say x equal x is this y is this so x and y is starting with x equal to y and uh, sorry x and y equal to 1 right starting with x equal to y equal to 1 okay please remember so x is going to be fixed only okay x will be always 1 but y is going to change please remember y will be 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 like this okay okay so what we can do here is since we are applying uh, this is NAND gate okay NAND gate okay. what we can say here is that initially your uh, output is you know 0 0 right nothing is here so if x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 right, so nothing is applied here you can say okay. so your output is reset you can say output is 0 right so what you can do here is if you take 0 here right suppose q is 0 sorry p is 0 right if p is 0 so 0 and 1 will be what 0 and 1 if you're going to apply you know 0 to the NAND gate so it is going to be always giving 1 right because NAND gate is sensitive to 0 as I told you here NAND gate is sensitive to 0 okay so initially you have to consider that out P is 0 okay start with P equal to 0 okay so your Q is 1 now this is 1 so 1 and 1 it is going to be 0 right it is fine okay now what you can do you can you have to fix this okay? this is fixed okay? now what you have to do here is you have to change by only right and you have to see the value of p and q right so by now by will be zero okay because next is zero right so if you're going to apply zero here right so zero and this is zero right so zero and zero will be one and one and one is going to be zero now let us take one so one and this is 0 already so 0 and 1 is going to be uh, you know 0 and 1 is 1 only right and 1 and 1 is going to be 0 so I think uh, your output is going to be always 0 and 1 right your output is going to be always 0 and 1 okay so outputs are fixed here whatever input you give right outputs are fixed p equal to 0 and k equal to 1 always you will get the same so answer is okay this is very important to keep in mind okay this is very important to keep in mind okay guys so i hope this makes sense to all we'll meet in the next session okay so please revise this okay and uh, i will bring more concept on sequence circuit and i make sure that if you complete the entire playlist whatever i'm gonna create you will be always uh, I'm grateful for that right so you will be able to solve all the questions thank you so much we'll meet in the next week